So this time we will talk about find the uh, value A and B based on complex number setting. Okay, so look at this example please. So example one, so A plus B I equal to negative two plus three I. Okay, so as you see, A, this is real number term. Bi, this is the imaginary number term. On the other side, this is real number term. This is the imaginary number term. Uh, maybe last video, maybe two or three before uh, of this video, I can explain that why we have a plus bi form as the complex number. The reason is the real and imaginary number, they are two different number category, so we cannot combine them with each other. That's the reason we have to keep as the A plus BI form. It means when you analyze the value A and B, you also think separately in the real term only and then between in imaginary number term only. Okay? So, now, let's compare. This is real term, so A is real terms, and then negative 2 is real, right? Therefore, now we can just conclude that A must be equal to negative 2. Because A and negative 2, they are real number term. Then, B must be equal to 3, okay? Because BI and 3I, they both are imaginary number term. Okay, look at another example. So, A plus 5 plus 3BI equal to 4 minus 9I here. Okay, then can you uh, differentiate the real term and then imaginary number term? So, a plus 5 and 4, they are real number term. And then, 3bi and negative minus 9i, they will be imaginary number term. Therefore, you can set up a plus 5 must be equal to 4. And then, 3b must be equal to negative 9 here. If you calculate that, then you will get a equal to negative 1 and b equal to negative 3. That should be the answer for this problem. So what if we have fraction involved, such as um, a plus bi equal to 4 minus 2i over 3 like that. Then in this case, we need to separate the real term and imaginary number term. So you know hard rule, right? Hard rule means of a plus b over c, then we just make a heart and then break them. So this become a over C plus B over C. So using this hard tool, then we can make 4 over 3 and minus 2 over 2i over 3 like that. Okay? So this becomes 4 over 3 minus 2 over 3i. Now it became simple. Then A must be equal to 4 over 3 and then B must be equal to negative two-third because a is real term four-third is real term b is imaginary term minus two-third also imaginary term okay